and it's really strong and it's stemming from issues that are re-engaging anxiety all the time, that's when you possibly need some deeper solutions. Hi ho everybody, this is the Gringo Scott, bringing you another daily dose of movie reviews with life lessons. Today we are looking at American Ultra, a 2015 film. Be sure to subscribe for interesting movie themed activities with life lessons. Now, let's get started. Let's check out American Ultra 2015, shall we? Little summary from the internet. Small town stoner Mike Howell spends most of his time getting high and writing a graphic novel about a superhero monkey. What Mike doesn't know is that he was trained by the CIA to be a lethal killing machine. When the agency targets him for termination, his former handler activates his latent skills, turning the mild-mannered slacker into a deadly weapon. A lethal weapon he is. Uh, that about describes the basic summary of this movie, guys. Thanks, internet guy. What's the deeper meaning in this one? The only thing I could find in this one was uh, things to do when one has anxiety in the moment. Here are some ways to manage stress using dialectical behavior therapy techniques or DBT. This is from an article, the Behavioral Wellness Group on the internet. Here are three of those 10 that I often use a lot in order to downregulate my emotion. One, one, one. The easiest thing we have to control and that is always with us is our breath. Learn how to do diaphragmatic breathing with a longer exhale. Practice when you don't need to do it so that you'll be able to do it when you're in a panic. Two, Two. self-soothe with the five senses. Some examples are vision. vision. Go walk someplace beautiful and really take in the sights. Hearing. Hearing. Stop and listen to nature or music. Touch. Touch. Pet your animal or take a warm bath or shower. Taste. Taste. Eat a small treat or flavored tea. And, and smell. smell. Inhale the fresh smells of nature and a candle or scented lotion. And, and the third is engage in activity that requires thought, such as a hobby, puzzles, word searches, reading, etc., etc., etc. All of these are great to use in the moment, I find. I often use them in the moment to downregulate. However, if you're having consistent reoccurring anxiety, and it's really strong and it's stemming from issues that are re-engaging anxiety all the time, that's when you possibly need some deeper solutions, long-term life-changing solutions. For example, a good diet, good sleep hygiene, and help from a professional. That's my take on this, guys. But as with always, take what you want and leave the rest. I'm no expert. I'm just a guy. Overall opinion of this movie. The bad. The actor Topher Grace, who plays the villain, evil, incompetent, cocky little twerp. Boy, does he do a good job at this role. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard awful rumors about him back in the day in that 70s show that he left all cocky and he was a jerk and hard to work with. I don't know if that's really true, but that certainly builds into my narrative for his character in this. So I think he might be somewhat of a, at the time at least, he was a prima donna. And in this movie, he's kind of a prima donna. He always seems to kind of play that kind of guy. And then they said he was like that. So I'm just like, he's a jerk. I don't care for him. So it made me hate his evil role even more in which I can't believe he could be so incompetent and so self-centered. But I think that could be good because then it's more satisfying the resolution of all the problems. It's more satisfying kind of build them up so you really hate them and you're frustrated. So maybe it was a love-hate thing. Yeah, he irritates me, irritates me big time, but I love to hate this one. The good. The music is fast-paced and really immersive when it comes to highlighting the action scenes. There were a couple times in this movie where I was like into the fighting and I thought, ooh, that music is cool. It's like, I'm like, sweet, I liked it. It was really cool. I liked it. Both Jesse Eisenberg and Kristen Stewart have a decent chemistry and a pretty believable as a couple. Some great humor dialogue between them as well. And some good arguments as well. Like, I'm like, hmm, that's cool. In summary, this is a great movie. I absolutely love how they mix way weird visuals, strange music, sound effects, and extreme close-ups to create a real weird feeling of violence and craziness that, that Jesse Eisenberg character, Mike Howell, is clearly experiencing. To create this chaos 
where it's almost like a controlled chaos because he's comfortable in it now, but it weirds him out because he wasn't like this before. So it was, it's really cool. I like that a lot. Just the place they chose is also really cool. The small town working in a place where there's not a lot of business. It's kind of a place where a stoner could work. You know, you could just get high and chill and work all night and just kind of have an easy job, you know, and then they bring this into it. This movie has a lot of surprise twists and turns that I really appreciate. Now, now I, believe I believe this is my third, third time seeing, seeing this, this one, one, and I'm, I'm sure, sure I want to see it again. That's why I'm giving American Ultra a 2015 film and 8.5 out of 10, guys. 8.5 out of 10. Go check it out. Peace. Yeah, boy.